Oh, finally I get to open my box. Apparently it's been here for a few days, but I have been in another state, in another state, in another state, in another state. And I'm tired and my back hurts, so I have not yet done anything. So, I am told I'm going to love it. So let's see what we got. We have... First thing is magic. Yeah, that makes sense because, okay, so Beltane's coming. Magic has a way of touching the heart and drawing power from the soul. I'm guessing this is another one of the intuitively chosen cards. Beautiful. Ooh, the artwork looks a little different. What is this? Mist clad in the light of the moon, stars spun seekers, I search for thee. Fairy light, I ask thy boon, of branch and thorn and elder tree. Wood woven creatures, shadow weavers, river keepers come to me. Just beyond reaching, never in keeping, spirits of fairy, I call unto thee. Wind hewn wildness, dark and brightness, Spiral enchantments born of the sky, cradle me with elven hands, abide with me, thy human child. W.B. Yeats. Oh, that is cute little artwork. Look at that. That'll be really nice for Beltane. I like, I like, I like. Okay, this is Rose Hips. Water element, moon influence, Venus, magical properties. Rose hips encourage longevity and well being. It's often used in many cosmetic recipes to enhance youthfulness and beauty. Like the rose, rose hips attract energies of healing, renewal, peace, and tranquility. It provides extra potency in rituals of purification, forgiveness, reconciliation. An excellent aphrodisiac, rose hips are often added to romantic baths, sprinkled around the bed, or even worn to induce passion and desire. Pretty, 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 pretty. I have a bottle of uh, dried roses. It's a vase of different roses that I've that I've gotten over the years, um, and I use it for my work because it's obviously infused with love energy. Ooh! Mommy. Wait, please. Mom. What? I even downloaded the, the Google game that says "Try down a, a slide." Okay. Go on. I'm making my video. Go on. I'll call you when I'm done. My little helper is cold, or is tired, and he has a cold. I can definitely smell a rose in this. Forest Fay. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? What do I have that can open this? should do it. I love when I get boxes of cards. And then I scatter them around my house. Ooh. I bet my earring. Ooh. I bet my earring bad. That's okay. I make jewelry too, so I'll fix that. No biggie. Mm. This is some tight shrink wrap. Wow. Forest mm. Fay. This is a nice sturdy box. Okay, it says enter the forest, seek wonder and enchantment. Hear the curious messages of the Forest Bay. This set of 40 magical cards invite you 
to delight in your imagination and spark joy and inspiration. Go beyond the boundary between this world and that to escape your way into the forest and into magic. How to use the cards. Sit quietly and breathe deeply. Shuffle the deck while thinking of a question or just ask the Fae for guidance. Choose a card at random and discover what messages the forest may have for you. Perhaps the answers will be clear, or maybe they will ask more questions before they answer. Such is the way of the Fae. Mommy? Yes, dear? Somebody else died on the broom gate. Yeah. You're okay. Go on. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, these are cute. Okay, so we have mushrooms. And I'm obviously not going to shuffle through all of these cards, but I'll just pick one at random here. Lady of the Lost. Give to others treasure life and all its magic. Hmm. It's a neat little card. I like it. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm not sure. Right now, it's sitting on top of my star seeds that I got from another box. An oil? My bet is it's a rosehip oil. It is... Twinkle Offering. Cute. Oh, that's a that's a really nice smell. I like that. That sweet and rosy and fairy like. I like that a lot. I just found herbs, and I'm going to bet, ha ha, yes, it's rose hips. How could I have guessed? They're really nice size, too. What do you need? Hmm? What do you need? Nothing. Go on. Not right now. I want to be on your bed. My little helper is insistent. I even download a game. I even download a text game. Okay. Remember what I said I'm making my video? Perhaps I will keep these around my bed. For when puppy comes home. Little Mister's playing with his tablet, and he's discovered the wonders of downloading fun apps to play with. Okay, I'm gonna guess that this is a pink beeswax candle. When I'm good, I'm good. And it's dressed. Look how pretty. I love those candles. <clears throat> and I need to set up my Beltane altar sometime very soon. And these will be very nice for it. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Spring Awakening Incense. For some reason, this is all making me really hungry. I think it's a sweet smell. That's really nice. It smells like the rose hips and it smells like the oil. Very fairy like. <laughs> Obviously, very perfect. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Is there anything else in the box? Wait. A little purple sachet with these thingies in it. This is a thing I don't like. Wow, wow, whatever could it be? Well, I don't know, but it's very pretty. What is this? They're very gray and pink tones, and I am just not pink zebra, maybe? I guess I picked the right color for my nails for this particular time. I don't know, but it's pretty, and I love it. I believe that's all that's in the box, am I right? I am correct. All right, now on for the water. I have these all in a binder. I think I said that before. Okay, the fairy passage. As a star passes, spring begins. I really need my reading glasses. I never think to pull them out. As a star passes, spring begins to bring fresh and vibrantly new energies to our surroundings. I swear to God, I know how to read. I just can't see it and make my tongue work at the same time. This is not just another spring, but the newest spring, full of unbound potential and opportunity. It's so important not to make the mistake of viewing the seasons as a recurring occasion, but rather a one and only experience of unique and wonderful gestures. If you take the time to slow down during your busy days, you might capture, catch a glimpse or a message from the Fae fluttering nearby. As with most practitioners that are connected to the natural elements of this world, you'll most likely have potted plants, herb gardens, trees, or small ponds nearby. No, but hopefully we're going to put one in. These pockets of nature hold untold powers of magic, feeding our spirit during our rituals and meditations. In the celebratory collection of spring, we work with our relationship with the fairy, offering our gestures of, for small bits of guidance and companionship. The magical items in this box are as follows. Rose hips. Rose hips herbal grimoire artwork. Forest Fay enchantment deck. Um... This small set is a wonderful addition for your traveling altar and can be used easily wherever you go. W.B. Yeats Book of Shadows artwork page. Illustrated by A.E. Alden, this beautiful poem comes from William Butler Yeats, a wonderful Irish poet, dramatist, and writer. Yeah, as you read this poem, you can truly feel how palpable his inspiration must have been. Place within your book of shadows or display on your altar. Twinkle Offering Magical Anointing Oil. This wonderfully fragrant blend has been created to inspire and attract the elemental energies that surround you. As you use this oil, be sure that your intentions are clear. Call upon the natural guides that surround your work, seeking guidance, understanding, and inspiration. We will often re recite short intentional mantras as we use these oils to anoint our skin and magical tools. We've enchanted this magical anointing oil with yang yang and jasmine oils, which is interesting because normally I can't stand the yang lang lang lang, whatever it is. I don't like it, but this smells nice. And jasmine oils and have included the herbs of lavender and dandelion leaf as well. Inside your oil, you'll find a Lemurian quartz said to personify oneness with your aura. We've also included a special mixture of our fairy magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into making this oil. It's very beautiful. Plum Blossom Tumbled Tourmaline. Okay, I did not get that. 
at all, I didn't even know that particular stone existed. As one of the most perfect stones for calming anxiety and fear, plum blossom tourmaline truly carries with it the energies of peaceful vibrations and relaxation. This beautiful stone is also said to be the bridge to the spiritual beyond. As you carry this stone with you throughout the day, rely on its energies to bolster your self-confidence and bring you inspiration. I accidentally downloaded the, a game says, where the zombies is on accident. You downloaded a zombie game? On accident. Hold on. There's my Steve game! Hey, wait a second. Go on. I'll fix it in a minute. Stay off the zombie games. Spring Awakening Ritual Incense Sticks. Uh, allow the smoke to open through your open doors, embracing the awakening of spring. Mom. Fairy Passage Mini Spell Candle. Wait. Personalized Oracle Reading. Um, selected a card from the Fairy Guidance Oracle deck by Polly Fay to place inside your box. We've curated this box with the intention of enhancing the magic that flows through your life. Allow the synchronicities and signs from your guides to manifest through the sacred objects placed within this collection. May the fairy bring new blessings and protection to your sacred path. Mom. Blessed be. That's very, very nice. Love it. Love it. Love it. And now I have to deal with the tablet.